Hey folks, it's Grimwit from Nat Evil, and uh, psh, they want the druid. Okay, let's see here. We got the option for the lurker in the forest, the ingredients shopping, magic potion, and the cursed glade. Hmm. And the winner is the lurker in the forest. That doesn't seem very. Eh. Oh well, what would it, whatever. All right, what do we got to do here? A brigand is destroying the natural peace and harmony of the forest. Cleanse the forest by beating him senseless. I mean, battle in twice. Goal. Beat the forest brigand twice. Hmm. That doesn't sound too difficult. Gotta raise my strength up first to make it at least even footing. Hmm. Also, we got tons of fate to do this with. We can change our alignment at any time, but that's only useful in, like, the uh, graveyard, which I think I've shown before. Also, when we land in the woods, we gain our full complement of spells. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. I guess, uh, I guess we should go ahead and start this. Alright, first off, what kind of spells we got? Psionic Blast? Cool, actually, that's pretty good. We'll we'll add our starting craft. Um, okay. What the heck? Oh, it's my wife. Okay, well, whatever. Um, hmm. Attacked by the Brigand. This is gonna be actually rough. We just gotta stick by the Force no matter what, and... And something tells me... Hmm. Alright, well, let's do this. One. It's so imaginative. Here we go. What do we got? A bag of gold. Might be able to visit the blacksmith. Get some, uh... Get some kind of thing going on here. No, I'm not going to the tavern. Maybe I just don't like the tavern, alright? Mark it. Let's see, a market has set up here for the rest of the game. Each visit you may buy an available item, like a sword. Which is exactly what we want. We want a sword. We want a sword. It's just one gold. There we go. Alright, that'll help with fighting off brigands. Darn you, brigand. Um, we are going to make ourselves evil. And head over to the graveyard. Pray, damn you, pray! That's ah, nothing. I'm not going to waste fate on that. Alright, back to the woods if we can. Nope, but we can get close. Uh, ooh, maiden adds to our craft. Crafty. Four, darn it. What do we got here? Evil darkness. An evil has swept the netherworld, sweep the land. If you are not, I am. I'm evil. Yeah, I'm whatever I want to be, really, but um, today I'm evil. Uh, let's see here. We have one gold. Really, is there any anything we can do in here other than visit the mystic? No? No? Let's go ahead. Back to the evil graveyard. Evil. Evil, evil, evil. This is so ridiculous. Gain of fate. I like it. Darn it. Well, to the ruins we go. Maybe we'll be able to get some cider at the ruins. Ruin cider. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Pestilence and whatever. And a lemur. I know it's like lemur, lemurie, but it's it's totally lemur. Alright, uh, for the pestilence, there's nothing we can do. We'll just lose a life. I'm not real worried about it. And as uh, for the lemur, eh. He'll go down pretty easy. We have a craft of six right now. I lost a life. How could I? Whatever. I'm so intimidated by you, lemur. <laughs> oh, that worked out well. Alright. Can can a brother get to the... You know, I might start having to waste fate points just to, uh, just to get to, back to the woods and go, Whoa, whoa, laggy as fuck. What happened there? Go over here, draw a card, Clairvoyant Follower. When you take the Clairvoyant as a follower, you always have at least one fate point. Oh! Oh! Oh, let us waste the fate! No, I want a one. Roll a one. Yeah! 
There we go. Let's get attacked by a brigand. Nope. Let's get attacked by a brigand again. Nope. And we're lost for a turn. Whatever. I'm starting to really dislike this adventure. Let's head over here to the hills. I guess, oh yeah, we automatically get a couple of spells. Invisibility, useless alchemy, not so useless. And shrine, why not? Uh, we are ignored. Well, uh, I don't like that, and I have somebody who can give me at least while well, we're ignored. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, let's see, am I evil? I'm evil. Back over here we go. Uh, replenish fate. Yeah, why not? Not sure why I did that. Ah, oh, yes, back to the forest. Okay, we want to fight a brigand. No, we want to fight a brigand. Damn it. Well, I guess we're safe for now. Let's see, here or here. Let's go to the woods. Ah, it's a poltergeist. It's creepy. It's attached to my... Oh, man, it takes all my followers. On the other hand, I might be able to slowly work my way over to the brigand. Actually, this could work in my favor. Alright, what do we got here? A phantom. Uh, if you are at evil alignment, it'll grant you a wish. Awesome. Uh, I am evil. Grant me a wish. Oh, what to get, what to get. Let's do something to help with that brigand. Put us on equal footing. And let's head to the tavern. I really don't want to be at the tavern, but we'll we'll do the tavern. Is anything alignment based here? No. Let's roll a one. We can get drunk and collapse in a corner. Uh, well, I'm willing to burn a fate for that. Uh, we gamble one gold and win. Awesome. Just slowly make our way over. Yep. Magical stream. Place four strength. Oh, we get a strength. Yay. Awesome. Getting slowly close to those woods to fight that brigand. Oh, God. It's a hag. You must take her as a follower. All your other followers immediately leave you. Uh, let's see. Okay, just... No, don't don't leave me, poltergeist. I, I need you. God damn it, hag. Ah. Uh. What else? And a pixie. I don't think she can follow me until, yeah, until I visit the mystic. Eh. Well, I have a hag. And that, I guess, makes me lose a spell? I guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm getting rid of alchemy, because fuck alchemy. And a pixie. Sure, I'll take the pixie. No, I can't. Um, hmm. Damn it. I really like that poltergeist. Well, let's try and head over to the mystics. we got to hang around the village anyway. Hey, a fairy. This fairy seeks a champion. If your alignment is good, she will grant you one of the following wishes. Well, it just so happens I am a good person. Uh, let's see here. What will she grant me? I can get a craft or... Hmm, a fate. I can get a whole bunch of other stuff. Teleport to any place in the region. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. And we're going to go right here to the village. And we're going to visit the mystic so that we can get rid of this goddamn hag. Watch him change my alignment. Oh no, I gained a craft. Awesome. And we get rid of that friggin' hag. One. Alright, well, I guess back to the fields I go. Ah, oh, another lemur. Yay. I have a score of six. Ooh, you rolled a seven. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. But I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Two, damn it. <laughs> this is not fair. Look, there's the poltergeist. Maybe we can get to the poltergeist. A maze. I have a craft of five. This maze does nothing to me. One. Oh my god, it is my dreams. Yes. 
All right, let's see here. A maiden, a clairvoyant, all kinds of crazy stuff is happening here. Awesome. Let's just go ahead and pick up everybody. Yes, the poltergeist, the maiden, the clairvoyant, the pixie. I got a whole bunch of people following me now. And now I don't have to roll. I can just keep going back and forth to the woods. Awesome. Uh, maze means nothing to me. Let's go ahead and get to the forest. I'm sorry, the forest. Uh, you need not roll unless you want to. I want to. Let's go ahead and roll. Three. Lost for one turn. Um. Yeah, why not? Five. Safe. Well, I have to accept this roll. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, this is working out for the best. Let's see. What do we got here? A ghost. Ooh, a spooky ghost. Craft four. A ghost materializes in... Roll one die. Oh, it doesn't materialize here. That's that's a pity. I, I would really like to uh, to destroy that ghost. Sure, uh, we'll let it go to the village. I don't care. I'm not going to the village. Crossing water will get rid of this poltergeist, and I need that poltergeist. Oh, come on. Give me, give me one little brigand. At least I get a craft. I'm going to be so crafty by the end of this. It's going to be redonkulous, my craft. The craft that I have. So ridiculous. You know what? I'm going uh, evil. I mean, evil again. There. <laughs> Didn't know what I was doing there. Alright. Um, let's head back over to the fields. And what do we got? An enchanter. Let's see. If you're craft of four more, it is... Gosh. Um, hmm. What will help me? Uh, I already have somebody to give me a ridiculous amount of fate. Um, I already have something that, uh, you, can I, can I use a spell? Hmm. Hmm. We'll gain a strength. Alright, back to the force we go. Twice! I have to do this twice! No, no, no. Roll a one. God. Oh. Ah. Oh. And now we see the true insidious nature of this, uh, of this particular adventure. Hey, it's a specter. A lot of crafty beasts over here. Four, five, six, seven. Eh. Not one of my best, but uh, you know what? I beat them anyway. Alright, back back to the forest. Yes, yes, I know. Oh my god, so annoying. Ah! You know, I'm gonna end up having to cut this video. What do we got? Goblin. Oh, oh no. It's a, it's a goblin. <laughs> well, that, that turned out great. Um, back to the forest I go. Like every other turn. One, one. No, roll a one. Seriously? Seriously? <sighs> back to the fields. Hey, it's a unicorn, sure. I have, like, five followers now, and no limit to the number of followers I can get. A six? Um, no, no, that won't do anything. I need a one. <sighs> a raft. Wow. No, second roll. Just going through the motion. So, look, it's a goblin. At least he, like, breaks up the monotony, you know? Even though there's no way that he can beat me. Look at this. There's nothing he can do. Yes, I know. Six. No, I need a one. I haven't rolled a single... I haven't fought a single brigand here. It's a hobgoblin. Hmm. Okay. Can, can I, like, trade this in for strength points now? Is that a thing that can happen? Yes, it is. All right, let's see... Three, four. No, oh, I gotta go this way. Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I now have a strength of six. Sure wish I could use that strength to fight a brigand. Boy, wouldn't that be nice. Five, no. Roll again. Two, not. This is so fucking crazy. Uh, he sells up. Oh, and now. <sighs> Now we've got this guy. And you know what? I don't want a spell. 
I don't want a fucking spell. And is there a spell to teleport? I can cast a spell and teleport. Sure, let's cast teleport. Oh, no, I guess I can't actually use teleport. That's a spell I can't use. Roll a one. Roll a one. Mm. Roll a one. Roll a one. Son of a... Oh my god. Roll a one. Roll a fucking one. Jesus Christ. Roll a one. Yay! We get attacked by a fucking brigand. Woo! And by this time, of course, I'm so overpowered that there's nothing you can do. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. That's it. We are halfway done with our quest. Now all we have to do is... Do it again. Chow. Roll a one. Roll a one. In the normal game, I would have had the fucking crown of command by this time and beat the entire board. Roll a one. Roll a one. Yeah, I have craft. So what? Can you imagine this without the poltergeist? Without being able to just go one space every turn? It would just be... Oh... It was so, so annoying. It's annoying now, but it would be doubly so. Look how many times have... Let me, let me do the math real quick. Every, every sixth time I come to this space, on average, I should be rolling a one. Actually, not even that. Every third time. There we go. We rolled the second one. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. I beat him. I'm going to roll a nine and give him every chance to beat me. And he didn't. Yay! That was incredible, and look, I got one one turn taken. Like, there's any way I could have controlled that. Okay. Well, all right. The next and the last Talisman Prologue video, we're going Vampire Hunter. See you then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with that. I'll see you guys next time.